at the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. We are celebrating the 76th independence year of our beloved country, India. It has been 76 years since we have got independence from the brutal slavery of British colonialism. And this and in this time, we have achieved tremendous amount of things like in the space exploration, communication, defense, geopolitics, etc. But have we asked ourselves that are we really free? Are we really independent according to the current era or current context? And if we dive deep into this question, we get answer as no. Here's how. Look at this data by National Crime Record Bureau, NCRB, which tells that in the year 2022, about 13,089 students of class 10th 11th and 12th have committed suicide due to pressure of stu studies and family. Around 56% are male and 44% are female. Moreover, there are 50,000 or more schools and colleges which, in our country which don't queue holidays for students and are open even on Sunday, which is a government holiday. Now. Look at this data by National Commission of Protection of Child Rights NCPCR, which found that the schools and colleges that run on Sundays and give pressure to the students to work are often located in economically disadvantaged area. These schools and colleges are often run by private individuals or trusts and they charge high fees from students. The pressure that students face in these schools and colleges can have a number of negative consequences, including increased stress and anxiety, decreased academic performance. These educational institutes are actually running on Sundays with an intention to increase their academic performance. But here's the catch. Here is the irony. This, open, this running of school on Sunday is actually hindering the academic progress. It is actually decreasing the academic process. And this is a survey data. Here is more. Look at this. According to the Indian Commission of Medical Research, around 25 million students in India are in depression. According to the World Health Organization, around 30 million students are facing lack of sleep. According to the National Eating Disorder Association, around 10 million students are facing eating disorder. And according to the World Health Organization again, around 15 million students are facing suicidal thoughts. Is this what we call independence and development? You know, in the year 1830s, we Indians really didn't have Sunday as holiday. It was Nara and Lokhande in the year 1881 when he started his struggle to get Sunday as holiday for all the Indian workers. Uh, in the year 1830s, the ruthless British officials made us work relentlessly even on Sundays. We didn't have a day off. But he started his struggle. Narayan Lokhande started his struggle in the year 1881 and it took long eight years years to get success and during these eight years he was arrested and imprisoned several times he was also brutally uh, he was also threatened by violence by many mill owners he, he was also denied the access of media and his pamphlets and articles were all censored and he was brutally suppressed but with his sheer determination on June 10, 1890, he gifted us the Sunday as holiday. He finally convinced all the British officials and made it officially declared that Sunday should be given, Sunday must be given as a holiday. This was the history. And you know one thing, Right to Education Act of 2009 states that all the schools and colleges 
must be closed on Sundays. Running schools and colleges on Sunday is actually kind of illegal. And even if we see this thing scientifically, look, Jim Quick, who is a world famous brain coach, okay, he's a bra- world famous brain coach, podcaster, writer, uh, writer, and entrepreneur, tells in his book Limitless that our brain is like a muscle. As we exercise it with learning, it should be given proper rest. And by rest, he means proper sleep and a day off from any sort of learning. He explains that sleep is essential for brain health and it helps to consolidate memories and process information. When we sleep, our brain are able to repair and rest themselves. This allows us to wake up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. And Carl Newport, famous best-selling author, teacher and a computer scientist in his book Deep Work argues that a shutdown day is essential for two reasons. One, it allows our brain to rest and recharge. When we are constantly bombarded with stimuli, our brain never get a chance to truly relax. Therefore, this can lead to burnout and decreased, decreased productivity. Second, a shutdown day allows us to come back to work refreshed and ready to focus. When we have had a chance to relax and recharge, we are better able to focus on the task at hand and produce high quality work. Now, I know this video seems like revolving only around the students. And this is because of the reason we know the famous quote told by Jawaharlal Nehru, which goes like this. Children are like birds. Children are like birds in a garden and should be carefully and lovingly nurtured as they are the future of the nation and citizens of tomorrow. And education is the most crucial thing of development. And until our education system is totally disrupted, until we don't incorporate the skill-based learning, until we don't understand that our health is the real wealth and jaan hai to jaha hai, we can never become a superpower. And thus, we can never be truly independent. And this thing really hurts me. And I know as being an Indian, this thing also hurts you. If yes, then I request everybody to take proper steps towards this and all such adversities so that together we can bring a change in the society in India. So let us together make India the India.